We'll be taking a look at PSID, currently traded at 0001. This was requested over here on investorshangout.com forward slash live right now, currently traded at 0001, like I said. Uh, the last time we looked at this one on May 3rd, I said 0001, a lot of shares here, so play it safe, in my opinion. I would do more research on the company. Again, I can't add too much to that, but out of respect, like I said, we would take a look at it. Basically, again, I can't add too much to this one. Uh, I would like to see if there was any recent news at all since the last time that we've looked at this stock on the 3rd. And that would be for something for Joe to take a look at to see if there was anything recent. Yeah, yeah, there was today. So Positive ID reports first quarter 2017 results. So Positive ID Corporation, a life science company focused on detection and diagnostics, announced today its financial results for the quarter. And in March 31st, 2017, the company's Form 10-Q can be found in the investor relations section of its website. So for the first quarter ended March 31st, 2017, revenues were $1.2 million compared to $1 million for the prior sequential quarter and $1.7 million for the quarter ended March 31st, 2017. So the decreased revenue from the first quarter of 2017 compared to the prior year quarter was driven by the delivery of two large projects in the company's mobile lab segment lab segment in early 2016. In early 2017, work progressed on several mobile labs, which will likely not be delivered until the second half of 2017, as individual projects are usually material. Revenues can vary materially period to period based on the timing of such deliveries and quarterly revenues as a result may not reflect results project, projected over an annual period. So the cost of revenue was 0.8 million for the quarter ended March 31st, 2017, compared to 0.7 million for the prior sequential quarter and 1.1 million for the quarter ended March 31st, 2016. Gross margins increased to 34% for the quarter ended March 31st, 2017, compared to 32% for the prior sequential quarter and the quarter ended March 31st, 2016. The decreased cost of revenue was primarily driven by the decrease in sales, while the improved margin resulted from improved mix of business. So during the first quarter of 2017, our business performed solidly, reported an increase in revenue of 25% over the prior sequential quarter, with a focus on building a strong pipeline for the remainder of 2017, stated William J. Paragol, Chairman and CEO of Positive ID, while the timing and delivery of the vehicles of vehicles in our mobile lab segment can affect results from quarter to quarter, from quarter to another, we are confident in our business pipeline for the second half of the year and looking at the big picture, we expect 2017 revenues will exceed 2016 revenues of 5.6 million. So Positive ID operates in three segments, mobile labs comprised of its ENG mobile systems, Subsidiary mobile device, uh, medical devices comprised of its therapy, Theramedics subsidiary and molecular diagnostics consisting of its Firefly DX prototype system for real time pathogen detection. So uh, ENG designs and builds mobile laboratories, wireless support vehicles, cell on wheels, and cell on light trucks, radio frequency test platforms broadcast news vehicles and technical vehicles. ENG has delivered more than 1,500 specialty vehicles to customers around the globe, including more than 400 mobile laboratories, 600 broadcast news vehicles, and more than 400 vehicles for cellular, RF, infrared, and other applications. So Theramedics markets the FDA-cleared caregiver thermometer, which is a clinical-grade infrared thermometer for measured of the forehead temperature in adults children and infants without contact. It is the, it delivers an oral equivalent temperature directly from the forehead in one to two seconds. Since there is no skin contact and caregiver does not probe over uh, probe cover supplies, it reduces the risk of cross-contamination, which is an increasing concern and saves he healthcare facilities the cost of covers as much as 0.05 to 0.10 cents per temperature, storage space and waste disposal costs. So Positive ID is developing the Firefly DX prototype system to be handheld, fully automated, lab quality, real-time device able to detect path pathogens at the point of need faster and less expensive than existing devices. Firefly's application include point of need, lab quality detection of 
pathogenic organisms, agricultural and food screening in both domestic sectors and developing countries, and detection of biological agents associated with weapons of mass destruction. So that's pretty much their press release from today. So if you want to continue doing more due diligence on Positive ID Corp, just go right over to the PSID board on Investor Hangout. From there, you'll see the company profile, the time and sales, the recent news, the filings, the financials, the buy rating. And as always, if you have an opinion on the company, feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have used on the site daily. We're posting right over there on that board. PSID with the chart. Like I said, 0001, a lot of shares here, so play it safe. In my opinion, I would do more research on the company. But like Joe said, it seems like they have a lot going on here and something you should definitely follow up with. Again, for PSID, if you follow the stock, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And share this video with all other investors and different social networks, stock message boards, and stock forums. The more you share it, the more it's requested, the more we cover it. If you'd like to participate in our next live show, you can do so. Investorshangout.com forward slash live.